Hi, Rob Schiffer from Technique Peak. Take a look at how to regain flexion of a joint of a facet in the lumbar spine. Key to it is you want to be able to do is take a joint and you want to be called open it or glide it forward to open up a joint. So that's opening for flexion. The tricky part for lumbar spine is the way to do it in sideline. If we're going to open a segment, the best is to put that that spot, that, that joint to the table. So if we're doing our testing and we put somebody in flexion and we find that joint doesn't open or go forward when we try to push on it, we're saying that that joint has trouble opening. So if you can see through that, into that part of it, is that I'm gonna position the person into flexion, I'm gonna flex them from below, and then I'm gonna move the pelvis in that direction. And if you can see that. But what happens when I do it in that direction, I'm gonna come over to you if that helps. If I take somebody in that direction, right, I want to open up this bottom joint. So if I flex them to that level and I push the pelvis forward, you can see how this lower segment moves down, but the upper segment goes up, which is more, which is considered flexion of that joint. Right. So as we do it, we can position the person in a position sideline that helps them attain that position of flexion. So we could flex them to the level. We could flex them from above. And then what we'll do is when we do the technique, and we'll do it on Domus in a second, is we're going to take the pelvis and move it in this anterior superior direction, which causes flexion of the joint below. Right? That's important. And it's a tricky one when you first think of it, but when you see it in a patient. So let's try that. We'll have Domus come in and come and face me. So now for Downus, we decided we did some testing. We had him maybe bend forward, and we saw that this side does not open or flex. So come a little bit closer, put him closer to that direction, get him comfortable. Now I could do, I want to flex him from below and above, and we want to get the motion to open up or to flex at that level. So what I could do is my fingers on that joint line, cold hands, sorry, Downus. You're going to flex to the level. Now I feel that just start to move. To make it more comfortable, put the bottom leg down. Straighten your bottom leg. Bottom leg. Good. Keep him in there. And I want to make sure if I overdid that, his choke hander should be pointing straight to the ceiling. So I'm going to have him come forward just a little bit. And now he's more balanced. So now we have that part flexed. From the top, we could also flex him. I go from this position. I say, Dennis, you're going to come off your shoulder just a little bit. And we're going to try to pull him just forward a little bit until I feel the motion right from there. So now I flexed from the top and the bottom, come through here, come through here, and now here's the segment I want to do, and I'm going to mobilize. The mobilization force is that direction. So let's say you're doing three on four, I'm moving four forward, anterior. So there, we're at the level, and we're going to push towards that direction. Do you see my thumb? So it'll look like this motion. And we're going to get flexion of the bottom joint. So I could do in that position, I could just hold it. I could do a little contract, relax. I could put him in that position. And I could say, down this, gently push your pelvis down towards your ankle. Just easy. Good. Three, four, five, and relax. I could take up the slack, and I could now move him. Again, it's superior anterior through the pelvis. And then come back. 